Hey y'all, for today's video, I am bringing you some Dollar Tree wood DIYs that is part of a fabulous open challenge called What Would You Make? Let's head to the She Shed. My first DIY is a wood welcome sign. You're going to need some paint in yellow and black. And I found this mesh stencil at Hobby Lobby with these cute bees on it. One of the metal welcome words in black from Dollar Tree and one of their wood rounds. So the first thing I did was kind of measure off where I wanted my welcome word to be because I'm going to be using my painter's tape and painting the bottom part of the round in the yellow. I'm going to have some uh, plaster going across the middle and then the top in black. If you are new here, my name is Robin, and you are watching Crafts Unleashed by Robin. And if you've been here before, you know it. You rock. I love everybody that stops by and watches one of my videos. You guys mean the world to me. So, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you like farmhouse DIYs, thrift flips, crafts, the occasional haul, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because, hey, it's free. To help prevent bleed through or leaking under the painter's tape, I always paint away from the tape with my paintbrush. You see what I'm doing there? I'm starting like on the tape and then painting away from it. That's a good little tip to help keep the paint from seeping underneath. I waited till the paint was dry and then peeled off the tape and had nice crisp lines. Now where the gap is between the black and the yellow, here I'm going in with my plaster chalk paint. Next I'm going to be using this mesh stencil that I actually found at Hobby Lobby in this adorable B pattern. Now they had several different types of stencils with with this um, mesh which is very similar to Chalk Couture and I will be using my Chalk Couture paste for this stencil. So I'm just placing it down where I want it and I recommend using our chalk paste with these kind of mesh stencils. It's not too thick, it's not too thin it's just the right consistency and I was very pleased with the outcome of this stencil. Now I will say this stencil is not very sticky. They are adhesive. Um, it, it's just not very sticky so I honestly don't know how many uses you'll get out of it. Um, I end up using it twice in this video and I was very pleased with how it turned out. For the black part and the white part of my sign, I'm using our chalk couture paste in the bumblebee. And yeah, the bumblebee color. <laughs> bumblebee for bumblebees. Hey, it fits. When I was done, I just peeled it up and I had those nice, crisp, clean designs. So for the yellow part of my sign, I'm going in with our Chalk Couture paste in the color Black Velvet. And you guys know I always try to bring you new things that I find. I know that not everyone can afford Chalk Couture. This is a good alternative if you would like to try mesh stencils. Guys, it's a world of difference between these and your regular stencils. Once you try them you'll absolutely love them. And for any of the Chalk Couture products that I use in this video, I will have my website linked in the description box below, as always. 
I am a designer with the company. So be sure to check out the description box for that link. Now here, all I used was my Gorilla Super Glue Gel and some hot glue to attach my welcome sign. Excuse me, my welcome word. And now I'm attaching the original hanger back so I can position my bow. And please don't make fun of my bow. I'm trying to learn. I'm not that great of a bow maker, but I think I did pretty good. So I'm just playing with the positioning, kind of fluffing out the loops, figuring out where I want it. And then I use my Hippo cordless glue gun to attach it down to my sign. And I do want to mention, I still have that special discount code just for my viewers for this cordless glue gun in the description box below. So if you haven't grabbed yourself one of these glue guns yet, there is still time and the link is in the description with the discount code. To cover up the holes in my welcome word, I'm using these tiny little bees that I got from the scrapbooking section at Hobby Lobby. They are adhesive, but just to make sure that they're going to stay put, I added a dab of hot glue to each one and put one over each hole in the word. I also found this package of daisies from Hobby Lobby and I am just attaching one to go in the center of my bow. I just felt like it needed a little something something. Now as I mentioned this video is part of the what would you make open invitation challenge hosted by Zaina at OK at Home DIY. Connie from Connie's Creative Creations and Ellie from DIY from House to Home. Their links and the playlist will be in the description box. Moving right along to DIY number two, I'm using an 11 by 14 wood plaque that I picked up at Dollar Tree Plus. The same bee transfer I used before and a chalk couture transfer. So I took my wood plaque outside and spray painted it black using my rust-oleum two times black paint and primer so while that was drying i thought i would add a little something extra to my sign i had this chipboard truck that i got at hobby lobby on clearance so i just gave it one good coat of black chalk paint now if you can't find these one of the wood trucks from dollar tree would be just fine now I'm cutting apart my chalk couture transfer and I'm going to use the bottom part that says Honey Bee Farms right on the truck. And I'm going to use, once again, my chalk couture paste in the color Honey Bee. Okay, y'all, my bad. I just realized I keep calling this paste Honey Bee. It's called Bumblebee. Oh, too many bees going on here in my brain. <laughs> Next, I'm using my Arteza paint pen in the color silver. And I'm going around the edges of the truck. I painted my wheels. They're not perfectly round. <laughs> that was the first thing my husband noticed. But now I'm just um, coloring in the window. And I will be going around all the edges of the trucks to give it some definition.
Once again, I'm using the Hobby Lobby stencil and my Bumblebee chalk paste and only painting in the bees this time. I didn't want the lines. Now you'll notice that there's a little staining there where I use the black and that's perfectly fine. Our, some of our chalk paste are so heavily pigmented um, that it does leave stain, but it did not hurt the mesh. So now it's time to place my truck down and I'm using a tumbling tower block from the Dollar Tree, placing it in the center and then I will hot glue that to the sign. And for whatever reason, I forgot to hit record, but you'll also notice on my sign, I used the other part of the Chalk Tour transfer that says sweeter than honey. I thought it needed something in the bed of the truck, so I'm placing down two tumbling tower blocks and I'll be hot gluing these adorable little mini beehives that I made in a previous video that I will link in the description box below if you'd like to know how to make those. So easy and so cute and you won't believe what I used to make them with. Oh me, I just realized I used that sweeter than honey on there and I'm like, okay, this is a bee theme sign and it's, you know, we're doing the whole honey thing and I'm like, that really is it it doesn't fit <laughs> with the sign but it is what it is and i still think it's really cute i mean i i guess it's old age brain guys i don't know i i just i just put it on there but it's still cute let me know what you guys think completely switching gears here um since i'm sitting here drinking lemonade it made me think a few days ago, I posted on my community tab wanting to know what your favorite flavor of lemonade was. So if you are still here with me at this point in the video, let me know what your favorite kind of lemonade is. Is it regular, pink, strawberry? Well, be sure to let me know. Now, I love making risers. For this one, I'm using the I think they call them the jumbling tower blocks they're from dollar general and i wanted to show you the size difference between the dollar general version and the dollar tree version so that's what i was holding up there at the beginning these are a lot bigger so all i'm doing is attaching them with some wood glue and hot glue um side by side just like you saw there and you're going to need two sets of eight of these jumbling tire blocks. Once those were dry, I'm attaching both sets together using more wood glue. Once my riser was dry, I'm using four more of the bigger blocks and I marked off the center. And now I'm just going to attach two on each side to the bottom of my riser. Once everything was set and dry, 
I just gave the top and the sides one good coat of my plaster chalk paint. Now I'm using one of the brand new rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree that I showed y'all in a Dollar Tree haul that I did a couple weeks ago. I cut it down to size and I'm just using a craft stick to rub it on and I love this color blue. I know it's hard to see but this turns out so pretty and can go with practically anything. And here you have it guys. That's all our projects for today. Be sure to let me know which one is your favorite. I love each and every one of them. I love my little welcome sign. I think it is so cute, so summery. And then the B sign with the truck. I love the way it turned out, even though uh, the sweeter than honey part really doesn't make sense. I still think it turned out cute. You guys, be sure to let me know what you think about these Dollar Tree wood DIYs in the comments below because you know I love hearing from y'all. I love reading your comments. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you need more summer inspiration, click on the video on your screen. And until next time, y'all go get your craft on. Bye.